Mm? Hello there. Welcome to this wonderful series and edition from Yoshi Consultants. So today I'll be your host and my name is Kubrat Kadiri. Tomorrow it might be somebody else. So, you see, at Yoshi, we love to create awareness about things that affect us, me and you, our safety. So if you're within Nigeria and the West African coast, the Gulf of Guinea, well, you need to log on to Yoshi, you know. We're all about you and your safety. Well, safety. We're dedicated to it. We try our best to do the little we can by creating awareness about things that matter to us about things that matter to people in different occupations and the public health. Today, the topic of discussion is looming tensions. Funny, right? Well, it's not funny. We're talking about high tension cables, specifically in Lagos, Nigeria. Now, over the years, transmission towers have been erected to transmit electricity and they became notable features you see, however, increasing population, need for business development has led to a rise of infrastructures on the transmission lines. And these transmission lines are carrying a lot of voltage, you know. The drive to survive in our current economic climb, in our current economic situation. Now, what we find is automobile shops. But guess what? Some of them are actually authorized, you know. They have permission to be there. But one thing we need to notice is that these are not permanent fixtures. And they're under the high tension cables. We see eateries, saloons, spots viewing centers, and even hangout spots. Some people even live there. I've seen this with my own eyes. It's not a lot. You see, there's a scrabble for space. And in the city... These have become prime locations because of its proximity to expressways and easy visibility for potential customers. So it's a big problem. Unfortunately, this danger zone is currently primed as prime business locations. This in itself is an hazardous situation. Now, it's possible that these people might be ignorant of this unsafe practice currently going on, but is it possible? It begs the question, who is supervising or organizing development of such locations, of such infrastructures that are authorized and approved under the transmission cables? Who do we hold accountable for allocating and receiving payments for such places? Who do we hold responsible for ensuring that human activities under the high tension cables are curtailed? Is there and should there be stringent penalties for human activities under high voltage cables? Whose responsibility is it to provide and approve alternative locations? This is a carry-on call to responsible parties to understand the risk associated with setting up and carrying various businesses and social activities on the transmission lines, especially during terrible weather conditions, such as the rainy season, which we have here in Lagos. Now, the risk a lot of things, you know, there's a risk of electrocution and that if power venture cable falls, either due to lack of maintenance or even damage from an intense weather condition or trees unattended are we perhaps waiting for a crisis to occur until something is done as safety professionals how are we aligned with our various institutes and governmental bodies will this be a case of duplicity of roles when it comes to intervening in this situation when will old things pass away so this is not just a session of ranting. This is a session to ask questions and find answers to these problems. So we have listed in the link below. If you click on that link, you'll find more information about electrical safety and the government parastatals responsible for these bodies. Now, feel free to join us in the comment sections with your information, your references, identification of places and issues about 
people being on the tension cables that you'd love to share with us. Thank you for being part of our journey at Yoshi Consultants.